yeah, there's like three heavy slams. And this this man, I keep telling him he's supposed to more of his stuff because he has like he's just showing me his switch. He has like a whole page of videos of these stupid combos. <laughs> so everyone needs to yell at him to post those because they're like they're great. They're just the stupidest and jankiest things ever. But it's great. You just show me um a reset after burst. Um, that can do 222 damage. Oh my god. It's like, why? But anyways, so, sorry that going Shane War, okay. Yeah, which is interesting, because, uh, you know, it's it's very well known that this is one of Machamp's hardest matchups. Mm -hmm. um, sorry Attack personally says that he has a hard time with Shane War against Skyrim in particular. Uh -huh. so. But it's because of playstyle, mm -hmm. not because of character toolset. And that's because he likes to get in close, mm -hmm. which is exactly where the champ wants to be. And also, Sky has this really good mentality with against owners because he's a very patient um, champ player. Like he, he'll wait for his opportunity. He'll like sit in the shield long knees until he finds his um, opening. He doesn't like do risky approaches very often. Yeah. yeah. Like some some of champs might just like raw six x just to get in as soon as possible, but. Guys, and we'll just play it safe and just walk and block, and that's a very, like, a very Ooh. good skill. All right. Sartek doing a good job of keeping these guys in the way, taking all the jumps. Yeah, Sartek doing a good job of keeping them down right now. It's kind of funny though. In that dual phase earlier, he belly flopped straight to that uh, support draining puddle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just don't need it. Um, so, Skyrison has been taking a lot of um, flame bursts and... Ooh, that's gonna kill. Yeah. And shield breaks. And because of that, he has almost no burst going into the next round. Sorry, I can have a full gauge. That's one of the scary things with Shandy, because he... You know, the, the guard breaks come, personally, pretty easy for Shandy in field phase. And it really... So they get a lot of management with fewer synergy gauge. And it really oh, sucks yeah. if you have 200 CC, like, Skyrison and does, and no reliable way to build it. <laughs> Dang, I like the karate chop in there, because that destroyed those projectiles, but... Trying to go for the grab is just risky, I think. I'd say, Sartak's doing pretty well, considering Shannon War hasn't been too active, as of late. <laughs> Making it work out. Oh, unfortunately, dropped there, Skyrism. Alright, good number on. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, what's... No, oh, he's oh. not trying to style, he's just going for damage there. I don't blame him. He needs that, to that's uh, weird, catch I, up. I didn't look like that should be doing the most damage, and it's like... So it was just like a few six wise, and I was like, that does the most? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yep. Uh, you gotta watch out for those Azokis. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the movement there from Skyrim, but. Be careful. He's got, he's got a long oh, line man. right now. That was good burst activation. Well, he's, in, he's in that hex range, he's gotta be really, really careful about it. Now look at that pushback Lilith does. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, that was a DX buff. I think got added that extra hit. It's just so much. This is so risky because oh oh no no oh, my that's God. unfortunate. That is just unfortunate right that there. Was. Oh man! All right, Sartak's gonna take the first game. Yeah, I, he did the right thing, but just mistimed it. Mm -hmm. Shannon does have a rather low hit um, hitbox. Stuff like that. Yeah, hope, hopefully uh, Skyrim is going to find his momentum on this too, because I know he consistently needed this shape. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's, I think it's trying to adapt to a different playstyle for sure. Yeah, it, it, he's not really, like Sartag's not really getting in close as much as he used to. And it could just be a little bit of an experience, because it, it has been a really long time. It really has. Because, I mean, Sartag's the kind of guy who will say like, man, I don't like playing Shannon War against the champ, let's go pro golf instead. <laughs> Makes this, sense. This is fun. Thanks, basic. Uh, just keeping him in that range where he's still on beat. Now he's got to be really, really careful with packs. Yeah. Well, the face shift kind of helped him. Mm -hmm. Still in a great spot. Also, though. it could be a, maybe a blessing in disguise because that hex can really hurt. He's able to get that toe kiss. Yeah, Beyblade. Probably went for a JX or something like that, trying to get over that. This is going to be a little bit rough for Skyries right now. Artek is putting up the pressure. Oh, oh dang. He did the far-reaching um, heavy snap. They could have gotten out, out of the way, at least for most of that. Honestly, if he even just went for the drop kick, the drop kick automatically face That is true, but that is a really hard call out. It really is, but I mean, it works. I'm like, you can do that too with um, 
crush on first, and drop kick it and just immediately deny it. Oh, yeah. The red frames. It feels bad, man. Oh, you see, he, what he did with the rock there, if he got that, he could have gotten 222 damage. Because Jeez. if it against the wall, you could do like two side wide and then um, crack a shop into him and just do a whole lot of damage. Just blows. <laughs> So, Ooh, nice. Okay. If he throws a rock at you and you're near the wall. Oh, oh my god, that's nasty. That is just nasty. Momentum he needs, so. Mm -hmm. He has his burst, too. He's gonna want to use that. Yeah, just in case he just gets another. Um. Yeah, sure, for a jump on this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sorry, Jack can really get a catch on those. Uh, oh, oh okay. okay, I did. I, I, I was like, I don't know how punishable this is, because. Like, well, and he delayed it to possibly see how he would have reacted, but it was risky yeah. in burst. So. Yeah, very risky. So I think they have two options, and I forget mm -hmm. if the new beam counter pierces. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. I, I, yeah, I, I could see it doing that. Ooh, nice. Able to get the uh, homing tech off before the anti-air. Looks like Cyrus is not getting his... Um, getting back <laughs> into oh. it. And yeah! Alright, alright. Oh! Okay. Belly flop straight into that. Mm -hmm. Trying to go for some. Well, this is a crit start combo. Is he gonna go for the full overheat? No, okay, good. Thank god. Because he used to do like combos and he at least tried to go for combos and overheat that were like cool but like really bad. <laughs> it's like why? Ooh, Boulder Hill Pale. He'll get a free bulk up. It's gonna help out. Yeah, that's gonna be a break, yeah. Yeah, but honestly I think he should be okay to take because now he gets a free toe because pop. He'll get in now. That's the thing, because sometimes you kind of have to take that shield break, because, like, it's either this or, uh, ooh, waste time trying to get in, which might not work out in the end. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Skyrim's in, it's like, game two, getting his momentum back and going. Okay. Just in time, too, because Sartek is one round away from taking the set. Yeah. Now, how much do you want to say Sartek changes? Oh, he did. Stop what? None. <laughs> <laughs> Sartek always changes. That's another f um, round three, go game three here. Oh, oh it. okay. Probably tried to jump or something there. But he's high gas. Ooh, what in the world? That is a high. That's a high? Yes. I did not know that. It's just an incredibly long reaching high. <laughs> huh. All right then. That means I can really sex it. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of start plopping now, okay. I'm kind of curious if that would even reach. Yeah, no. So he did get Tokus going, he's gonna help out a lot. Like, Tokus, I feel like, is the only saving race Skyrim really has, because. Um, Helps close that gap faster. Mm -hmm. Which is, it's, it's something he definitely needs in the matchup. Mm -hmm. Either this or, uh, say, a like, nope. Volga, but I think Tokus is the better option. Mm -hmm. He's gotta be careful here. Ooh, oh, that's gonna snag. Yeah, that's perfect from Sorry Tag right there. Okay. So Sorry Tag sitting on the set point. Mm -hmm. See if Sky Racing can turn around this does, next one. He doesn't have a lot of bursts to do it with. Uh, unfortunately, with Special Cheer, it doesn't help oh. if you. Oh. Spe special Cheer doesn't really help a lot if you. If you're in a situation like Sky Racing is out there where you lost that lot of um, burst going. That's mm -hmm. like one of the main disadvantages is that if you if you lost game one, you kind of want your strategy round two. Yeah. And it'd be hard for Sky Racing to get that right now. He's trying to be careful to stay out of hex range. Oh, and it's it's hard for Machamp because uh, Machamp and Charizard and Garchomp have larger hurt boxes, so it's mm -hmm. easier for it's hex. It's really to easy to flip them. Yeah. So this is just really a rough situation for guys. But if Sarkic actually pulls off, he'll get a, he might get a double perfect if he keeps this up right now. Did he get a perfect first? Yeah, he did. Oh, no. paying attention. If he gets a double perfect on Sky, that's gonna be like actually really, really, really big. Nope. Oh yeah. Oh. Sky isn't just like not taking that right now. This is really close. And ah. a double perfect for Sorry Tag Dang. right there for game three. Dang, okay. That was yeah. really good right there. I, I bet what was throwing him off the most was just like we were saying earlier, it's it's been a while mm -hmm. since that matchup. And what and Sorry Tag was also